Hey guys, what's going on? In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to install the iOS 7 theme skin on your desktop to make it look like this, like it's a giant iPad or iPhone. Um, I'm not really a big fan of iOS. I'm actually more of an Android fan, but uh, I got to say the idea of putting this on a desktop actually looks pretty cool. Uh, if you guys look in the description, you'll see something that says rainmeter.net. Go ahead and go to that website, and if, if you don't already have Rainmeter, this is what you do basically. Uh, you just click download final release because it's stable, unlike the beta. You click save file, go to the drop down uh, downloader arrow, click Rainmeter, and click run. If you use Google Chrome, you got to go to your downloads folder or something like that, or I think it'll download down here. But anyway, just click next. And if you have a solid state hard drive, you can go ahead and check this because it'll load on startup right away. If you don't have a solid state hard drive, I wouldn't really recommend checking this because it'll take about two to three minutes extra for your computer to load up. Uh, so if you just click install, then it'll install. And you should see an icon on your desktop that looks like rain meter, like a little raindrop. You go ahead and click that. And you'll see down here, you'll see a little drop. Uh, it's not going to open up anything because we don't have any skins to open up right away. But if you go down here to the bottom right and right click it and click manage, all your skins will appear here. Whatever skins we install will appear right here. So you can go ahead to the description and go to the link of the iOS theme. If you scroll down, you'll see a downloads button. Go ahead and click that. and click save file click the drop down arrow and you will see a little page come up like this then click install and now you will see that there is a 7 right here that is your launcher okay so if we go right back to the raindrop right click and click manage you'll see it says iOS 7 these are all your icons. This is a shortcuts folder. You can click it and edit like the the sizes and all that of the icons. But anyway, um, I'm not really going to worry about that right now. I want to worry about the looks. So if you guys click, just you could just single click. Uh, photos should lead you to uh, my pictures. So if you single click it, it'll bring up my pictures. They're basically shortcuts to your computer. So music will bring, I think, Windows Media Player, iTunes Store, obviously the iTunes application if it's on your computer. Safari, I'm not really sure. I think, I think it might just be your default browser. Okay, no, that's actually if you have Safari installed. Mail, I'm not sure either. <laughs> a lot of these don't work because I'm missing a lot of the applications. Uh, everybody has Adobe Reader on their computer. So, okay, it's not even working for Adobe Reader maybe I don't have it <laughs> um, that's right I don't have it wow okay uh, let's see if you click downloads it should open down your downloads folder yep exactly what it is downloads folder uh, word that opens up word obviously uh, notes I believe that might be notepad mm, no okay I guess not but like I said you can go ahead and right click you can unload the skin which will do that and you can just click it again and it'll open it up unload skin click the 7 it'll open it up again uh, you can go ahead and go to manage iOS icon you can edit it change the path of what you what you want the shortcuts to open bunch of things you can do here but you just gotta know how to do it <laughs> um, icon sizes all that stuff you can do anything basically um, if you look at icon 14 that would be the 14th icon from here from the top left to the right so this would be like the first icon second third fourth and so on uh, you can edit the paths and icon size all that cool stuff so this is Pretty much it guys uh, looks really cool uh, it just it really does look cool I gotta say 
Uh, I, I kind of like it better than the Android application, even though I'm an Android fan. But um, go ahead, show it off if I helped you guys. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that cool stuff. Thank you guys so much. That helps out a lot. Peace out.